The following video might not be suitable for everyone. Viewer's discretion is advised. Hey, my you, you know where I watch. How can mankind be this heartless? Huh? How can mankind be this heartless? A young woman at 25, which is very rare, it's rare out here being a full time farmer and a mother, and you're out here breaking her down by teething her stuff. Hmm? Teething her stuff. Teething from her children. Hmm? Destroying her household because this is my job. And if you destroy my job, you destroy my household. You're teething from my children. And you feel comfortable to come out here in the middle of the night. To destroy what I took three and a half months to build. To destroy it in a couple hours. And people, bear in mind, these are thieves that are in the community, among us, each and every day. <coughs> and these thieves, they sell to the local markets are to evil persons who go to markets and people who are buying from these thieves they know that they are thieves but they continue to support them they continue to support them because maybe they can get it to buy from them a little bit cheaper than they would get it to buy from the actual farmer huh? See my potato all harvested by thieves. Mm -hmm. Not me, the actual farmer, but by thieves. If I wasn't strong enough physically when I when I stumbled upon the scene this morning. I would have been blacked out. I would have fainted if I wasn't strong physically. Because I wasn't expecting any of this. I really wasn't expecting any of this. Hmm? I really wasn't expecting this. Viewers and subscribers, you see, when I hear some things on social media, it upset me, you know, like it, it, it really and truly upsets me to hear some things that happen out there. You see what I say? Now, this person said some things that gave me the understanding that uh, she's saying that thieves, thieve the things that uh, she planted in her field. You see me? So in my point of view, she's a farmer. You see what I said to you? In my point of view, farming is not really easy, you know? You see me? And you have some persons out there who think that farming is just uh, digging the ground and put a seed in the ground or put a piece of a plant in the ground and, and it grow. That's not how it really works. You understand? That's not how it really works. It might work like that for a little garden or so forth. But when you're talking about real farming, like you're going to plant a, a, a whole field, like about an acre, a land or half acre or even quarter acre, it takes time, patience and hard work. You understand? Let me give you a quick rundown, you see me? Even the machete that you're going to use need to be sharp. Yes, what I said to you? If you want to use a dull machete, it's up to you, but it's best to sharp the machete. Yes, what I said? You need tools overall. Not just the machete, but not just the machete, but you need tools, alright? Then the piece of land, whether it be half acre, quarter acre, or so on, you see me? The piece of land that you're going to use, you see me? If the land is full with bushes or weed, as or some person might call it, you know, um, not only that it depending on the crop, but you know, the land need to be cleaned and prepared. You see me? When I say clean, I mean like you need to get rid of the bushes, chop out the bushes, and you have to take away the bushes from the land to a point where you're seeing just the dirt, the natural dirt. You see me? And then after that, you have to you have to um soften the dirt for whatsoever you're going to plant. You see me? When I say soften the dirt, I mean like dig up the dirt to each place you're going to plant or even the whole the whole of the land. Yes, see me, I said to you, it's hard work, you understand? See me, and you know, you know, say, you see yam, 
when it comes on to yam, you, know, you have to make a little mountain, a little soft mountain to plant yam. You see me? So that the yam can spread more. It's just the tactics. These things I'm telling you is just tactics for you to get um good product from from whatsoever you're planting, a good food or a good crop, as all some person might call it. You see me? I said to you. And then now, after you plant the things that you're planting, you see me? There is also maintaining the land. You see me? Like make sure so that it stay a certain way when it comes down to the weed and bushes you can't have the weed and bushes growing because it's going to affect what stuff you're planting see me it might not affect everything you plant because some things can survive with the weed and the bushes but a lot of things that you plant like certain you know certain crops you, you, you can't have the weed and bushes covering these crops because it, it's just going to affect it you see me i said and then after that now it's like a gamble because it depends on the weather for you to get a good set of crops or, or, or good food from whatever you plant, you see me? And when we say it depends on the weather, I mean like if you get too much rain, it destroys the food that you plant. Or if you get too much sunlight, it destroys the food that you plant. So, you see me? And then now to, to see or to hear that someone spent so much time, put in so much work and so much effort to, to do their field or to plant food, right? And after they plant the food, they are expecting the food to come to perfection so that they can feed them family or go sell it in order to make money to feed them family. And then, after all that work, thieves come and thieve the food that they spend time to plant and grow. Eh? Those things upset me, viewers and subscribers. That's what I said to you. Those kind of things upset me. You understand? I'm not saying that I'm angry, I'm bashing out and disrespecting anyone, but really and truly, I don't really and truly feel comfortable to hear these kind of things you understand i wish the best for this female and i hope that somehow this female um you know just rally back yes you know i say you see and be careful of those persons because believe you me viewers and subscribers as as much as as much as i'm here talking you see me and whether you believe me or not you see me you might be surprised to know that the thieves that are thief in your own things they will hurt you for your own things believe me all right so I'm going to move on to another video right about now viewers and subscribers and um, you know let me know what you think about the video that I just presented to you. So I said the video shows a female um, saying something that gave me the understanding that uh, um, thieves stole the foods that she plant. Yes, so I said are stole from our farm. You understand? Now the next video that I'm going to present to you viewers and subscribers is our next video of concern. You see me? This video is going to show a dog. In my point of view, is a big dog, you see me? And you're going to hear someone talking in the background of this video. And the person in the background of the video said some things that gave me the understanding that uh, the person is trying to let um, persons know that uh, the dog might not be safe to be out in public with other persons at a certain place, within a country somewhere out there, you see me? If you look and listen to the video, viewers and subscribers, you might get an understanding as to exactly where within the world this had happened, you see me? And I do not have any confirmed information as to when this video had been recorded, alright? But anyways, I'm going to present this video to you right about now and some of the scenes in this video might not be suitable for everyone, you see me? Might not, alright? So viewer discretion is advised, alright? Now here's the video, take a look, listen and observe. Do you know watch what's going on around the savannah? I spoke to this guy and I told him that there's a dangerous dog act and that there are children around the savannah. Ma'am, I have a gun in my hand. Eh? I do not want that dog near me. Okay, there is a dangerous dog act. There are children around this savannah. It is ridiculous that you have that dog out here without a muzzle. Please walk away from me. Have a good day. I, I don't want a story. I don't need a story. I know enough stories about people who think that they could control dangerous dogs. Ma'am, ma'am, right now, you are not caring about anybody else? No, I do not want a conversation. All I want Trinidad to see is why this country is what it is. There is a dangerous dog act. Ma'am, I was very involved in making sure 
that is a dangerous dog. That is a dangerous dog. There are countries in the world where that dog is banned from entering the country. All masters. All right, ma'am. Listen. Okay, so the law now has to change for you to do the right thing. Look at the size of that dog compared to the man who's holding it. If that dog wanted to, it could drag him to hell. Come on. You're being ridiculous. Go. No, you need to go in the bush with that. Not where they have people with little children. And that is unfair. That is unfair. That is ridiculous. One thing to tell me that that, look at this scrawny little red man holding that dog. If that dog wanted to, it could drag him to hell. I mean, when I tell you, this is the things about Trinidad Tobago that is so disgusting. Eh? He can't control that dog if he wanted to. And she want to tell me it's not on the list. You see, that's Trinidad. You have to write a list for them. You have to give them a whole list. She can't tell that the dog that she has there is a, is a danger to other people. Don't you go and check on YouTube. There was a host on a television show that interviewed people who came to tell them on the show that dogs like that are not dangerous. And live on international television, that hostess was mauled and damaged for life. That dog may be the most teddy bear of dogs, I don't know, but it has the potential to harm people and that is why it should be muzzled in public. This is ridiculous. Viewers, subscribers, you see, this is the thing that I'm talking about now. This is a thing that I'm talking about. You see, when it comes on to the whole big dog out in public now, that's another thing. You see what I mean? I say, um, it's like some persons don't really and truly see the danger or understand how other persons feel to know that there's a big, huge dog close by to them. Yes, what I have said to you? It's not really, everybody can, can really and truly manage having these size dogs beside them in the viewers and subscribers. Yes, what I have said, you have some persons when they see these big dogs, them panic. Yes, what I have said to you? And at the same time, you have some persons don't realize that the dog can get out of control and hurt other people at the same time. See me? Some of the times the dog them look so big like the dog can pull the person who owned the dog, you see me? And I heard the person in the background of the video said some things that uh, gave me the understanding that uh, the person have a firearm, you see me? Hopefully that is a legal firearm, you see me? Hopefully that the person have a license to carry that uh, firearm, you see me? Or the gun, as all some persons might call it, you see me? I said to you, and you see, you know, that gives me understanding that the person might be afraid of the dog you understand me but i want to put this out there to persons who don't know that there are new laws yes there are new laws when it comes on to owning a dog in the country of jamaica you see me i'm not sure about the rest of the world you see me but there are new laws you understand so therefore the owners of dogs if the dog hurts someone out there there are penalties or there are consequences to face by law so i make sure i put it out there you understand me all right so anyways viewers and subscribers you know me just present these videos to you so that you can have a look at them you can tell me what to think to keep you up to date and post it and let you know what's going on all right yeah so here's where i'm gonna leave it so until the next time if you're new to my channel don't be afraid to click the subscribe button i'm me name dancer skiller uno big up on yourself you see it hey my you you know where you watch Dance on Skillet! Yeah, man. Hey, yo, Skillet! You are watching Dance on Skillet. Tint.